Hello, welcome back to my channel again and uh, today yet again uh, this is a recycle or upcycle uh, project. I have this very old uh, photo frame with me. I don't have the heart to throw it. So I thought I will uh, do a very simple uh, foiling project with this frame. So I want to give it a very um, distressed like farmhouse style kind of a finish. So what I'm doing is I'll take my chalk paint black and I'm going to apply it please excuse my voice I am a bit under the weather so so I am just I had uh, earlier done a lot of work on this frame it's already been upcycled a couple of times so isn't that the beauty of uh, recycling and upcycling? You can keep reusing your stuff again and again as per the trend, as per your taste. You can keep changing them. So I have given it two coats of chalk paint black now I have this candle with me to give it a distressed look I'm going to rub this candle wherever I want some distress effect now I'm taking a lighter color it's a off-white color and I'm going to apply over it It's dry. Now to distress this, I'm taking a sandpaper. I think this is 80 grit. Not too rough, just uh, slightly rough. And I'm going to rub my photo frame. What this will do is, uh, wherever we had put wax, the paint will not stick. So when we sand it, it will come off. So that is going to give us the distressed look. Can you see? So it's as simple as that. Whatever color you want to show through, that's the base color that you would give when you distress. Then apply wax wherever you want that old charm. See how beautiful this is. It's become a nice vintage look. Now I'll just leave this aside and we'll come, come to our very uh, important part of the project. So I want to do some foiling. So I'm going to be taking a laser printout. I just uh, wanted some crafting codes. So I'm searching in Google for some crafting codes and I choose whatever I want. Save the picture. And then I uh, take a printout and uh, yeah this is the printout I have so I think this will fit crafting is my therapy so what I will do is uh, this is a trial that I'm doing because uh, you don't need a laminator for all your foiling work you can do without the laminator too today I'm going to be using a iron so I am taking my foil here, this is a yellow gold reactive foil. There are so many projects that you can do with these and it is so addictive and uh, I have been from the time I have got this in my DT kit, I have been trying different ways of using these foils and uh, one of it is what I am going to be showing you today. So I am just going to cut a small piece whatever I want here mm. 
you can make simple and quick projects with these so my iron is heating up what I'm doing is I am not going to place it on the heart here I am going to place it like this and I will put a parchment paper over it I hope you can see okay I am placing it like this I am putting a parchment paper pressure is very important for foiling so So I'm trying to give as much pressure as I can. Okay, there's one small curve. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking it out <clears throat> let's see if it's come out well whoa 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 isn't that gorgeous look at that look at that Oh, I am so happy. This is so good. Okay, I have saved. I had saved a small piece of uh, red here, so I'm going to put it here and my God, I just love this, guys. This is absolutely stunning. What more do you want? You can do so many things with this. Look at that. Can you see? Is in that gorgeous. What more you want? It's absolutely, absolutely pretty. So it's as simple as that. So what we are going to do now is all I'll be doing is just how easy can this be? I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Place it in the center. Can you think of a simpler project guys that too it's so gorgeous if you have to buy these uh, vintage frames with golden print outside you will have to shell out at least a couple of hundred or more and but see how and see what we have created I'm super 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 happy this is so beautiful it's come out so well and can you see in this how the whole thing has come crafting is my this is absolutely gorgeous I am so 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 happy this will go on my craft table absolutely beautiful stuff let's just glam it a little more you think I should give some kind of a flakes here so what I'll do is I'll take this magic glue, foil magic, and now I'm going to be using some flakes, not the foil. So I'm just going to, you know, randomly with my finger. I don't want to thick. I actually wanted to do it on this, but uh, the frame was small for this. But yeah, until this glue dries, why not we just try doing it on that? Isn't it addictive? Let's uh, let me so you get a good idea of how to use the foil. Let me take another foil. Let's do rose gold. Uh, just explaining it to you again. All you do is take a laser printout of whatever you coat or anything that you want, a design or anything that you want. Put your foil, the color side up. Put a parchment paper on top and just iron it. Keep it in medium heat and give it give a little pressure. This is definitely magic. Why do you even need a laminator when you have your own 
ओम आयन एंड जस्ट इमेजिन वॉट ऑल यू कैन प्रिंट लाइक दिस आई मीन फॉइल दीज आर नॉट एक्सपेन्सिव एट ऑल गाइज सो इट्स गुड टू इन्वेस्ट इन अ कपल ऑफ कलर्स बिकॉज इट इज सिक्स बाई वन ट्वेंटी इंचेस दैट इज अ बिग रोल ऑफ फॉइल एंड इट्स गोन कम अ लॉन्ग वे यू कैन डू अ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट विद दैट सो एंड इट्स नॉट वेरी एक्सपेन्सिव ऑल्सो सो डू इन्वेस्ट I just love this. I just love this. Look at that. This is too good. This is just too good. Can you see that shine? Can you see it has taken all the lettering here so you can see that the foil is I will not waste these foils because for smaller projects all these smaller areas can be used so i'll keep it i'm taking these uh, gilding flakes or gold dust or gold flakes and i am going to that's it look at the beauty of this i am in love with this this is so vintage i am sure if you have to buy it from a shop i'm sure these kind of things are sold in a very uh, you know upmarket uh, vintage shops thrift uh, so not thrift vintage shops and i'm sure they cost uh, a bomb but we have created it with an old frame and some reactive foils and a printer that is it and this is gorgeous do check out uh, the hndmd website and check the uh, colors of reactive foils that they have that they have and the gilding flakes and also their foil magic and uh, just let your creativity ooze out and uh, yes i hope you like this uh, project happy crafting bye bye